that. Your breakfast bar is a vibe, y'all. Let's get started. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, um, I fast forwarded through my eyebrows. To do my brows, I used the um, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Waterproof Brow Pomade in um, the color brunette. And then I just um, actually over concealed a lot. Um, I concealed my eyebrows using my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the color Nutmeg and that is what I used for so my brow. So I already did my right eye off camera simply because I'm left handed so I have to reach around. This is like my tricky eye. I just wanted to make sure I got it right before I did it on camera for you guys. So first to go in I'm going to basically just prime my crease area with the um, Laying Low a paint pot from Mac and to put that on I'm going to use this real technique um, expert concealer brush. two different morphe palettes um the first one i'm going to go into is the morphe 24g the glam palette and i'm going to take oh this brush is so old this is a four professional brush it looks like the number 10 the crease brush and i am first going to uh go in here with this I'm going to go in with this color, which is um, Spiffy, and we're going to blend that into the top of the Okay, next I am going to go in to the shade Mooch, which is right here. And I'm going to take my Sigma um, E25 blending brush and we're going to go on top of a Okay, now just to uh, deepen up my crease, I am going to go in with the shade Brew. And I'm going to use my Morphe M433. Now that um, those three shadows are blended into my crease, I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil um, in the shade 604 Milk. And my um, Sigma... Uh, F70 concealer brush, which is what I use to clean up my brows, and I'm going to use these two to Okay, so now my um, my crease is cut. It's not perfect, but it really doesn't matter because we're going to go in with smaller detail brush and clean it up after we do our eyeliner. So then um, to set the white part of my eye, I'm going to go in with the Morphe, um, Morphe 12P palette. And it just looks like this. So we're going to go in and we're going to use this white right here to set that. And to set the white, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M167 brush. Okay, and we're going to set the entire... I'm just 
going to go in with the um, this brown reddish shade called Flirty. And I'm going to use a e.l.f. Detailed Crease Brush. And that's the color I'm going to use on the front part of my lid to get that. Okay, and I'm going to go back in with that Sigma E25 brush. And I am going to take this shade right here called Brassy. Okay, so before we finish blending out the colors, I am going to take um, this e.l.f. Uh, Jet Black Eyeliner. And I'm going to draw the line for my crease. I'm going to take this uh, Morphe M326. It's like a little small detailer brush. And I'm gonna go in with the colors Brassy and Mooch, these two browns that are right here. Okay, so that's all done. Um, once I was done with my uh, eyeliner, I did go back in with that Morphe 12P palette and I took that white on a Morphe um, M156, it's a dual ended brush here. Um, I took this little small side, I just took the white and I stamped it on top of the um, eyeliner just to make it last a little bit longer so right now I'm just gonna uh, speed through my base and the finished look alright guys I am back with my um, base contour and blush done uh, for my foundation I use the uh, Too Faced Born This Way in the shade chestnut which is my holy grail and then um, concealer again the Too Faced Born This Way uh, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and in this, I am the shade Maple. And I went through and um, set my under eye with the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder in, um, this is Bananas, I think it's the only one they have. Uh, and then for the rest of my face, again, my um, Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Powder in the shade Nutmeg. Now for contour, I went in with my Beauty Bakery um, Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Palette and I used contour, which is um, antidepresso. I used that on a, what is this? This is a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 14 brush. It's a little dome brush and I used that for my contour. Um, and then, what? I went in with the um, La Vida Mocha uh, blush right here. And to apply that, I used an e.l.f. Uh, blush brush. And in her photo, her blush kind of goes at a weird angle, going kind of down across her face. So that is how I ended up doing mine, right above um, my contour. And I did a slight contour on my nose. Nothing too drastic because I'm not really a nose contour person so knowing me i would have harsh lines for days okay okay now before i do um under eye mascara i am going to go in with my um max fix plus um and this is the lavender one love the smell of this and i'm just gonna spritz my face to get rid of that powdery look and help it melt into the skin better Now she is sporting a red lip. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I had so much fun recreating this. It gives me something to do that helps me get out of my comfort zone. Um, as far as this whole cut crease business, I think I'm gonna do more cut creases now, <laughs> um, just because it was fun and it wasn't that hard. Um, uh, I know in the picture she has on a red lip. Tried the red lip mama that was a no-go okay so um no um so instead um 
the combo I went with was this uh, Italiana Deluxe um, lip liner in chocolate. And then on top of that, I went in with my MAC Times Aaliyah, um, the lip gloss in the shade Motor City or lip glass, sorry, in Motor City. Um, so yeah, I just threw on my white beanie, took my hair out the bun, threw on my frosty sweater, cause your girl frost. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.